Happy New Year, everybody. What is up, guys? Welcome back to Dan's Reviews. And today, we're going to be doing another Walking Dead video. This is our first video for 2018. So, um, I'm very, very sorry. I couldn't do a video last night. I was trying to upload my video, and it just wouldn't work, which is really a shame because it was New Year's Eve. But um, hopefully this one uploads today. Uh, I just hate when that happens, man. I really hate it. Especially, you know, it's the worst time for that to happen, man. So, um... Yeah, so this is going to be our first video in 2018, uh, and this is going to be our top 10 best characters of the Walking Dead television series leading up to the second half of the Walking Dead Season 8. Uh, of course, you guys are all entitled to your opinions, but the first thing I just want to say, I hope everybody had a great New Year's Eve, and here is to 2018. So we're going to be doing another video later on today talking about 2017, just what happened overall, um, and uh, talk about uh, the plans for 2018. So... Um, and yeah, definitely guys, uh, one thing I want to say though, now getting into the video and the discussion topic, um, this one, a lot of people are probably going to be shocked, but Carl is not in my list. And I know a lot of people are going to be like, why, where, where's Carl? Um, and this is just my opinion, so of course nobody uh, get offended, but the thing about Carl in the TV series, uh, and he would be my number 11 though, that is one thing I can say, but... The reason why he just narrowly did not make it on my list is because I found that I was so... Every season of The Walking Dead, I kept getting more and more disappointed with Carl. And that is really not Chandler Riggs' fault. It's really not, actually. It's just... I feel like... They could have gave him more of his comic kind of um, counterpart, where he's more dark and you know he's got the the the, the scary kind of um, you know scary kid kind of thing, you know, like like he was in the comics. And I feel like in the TV show they just didn't really drive that point home. So again, this is just my opinion. You guys, I'd love to see your top ten in the uh, in the comments below. <laughs> I know uh, Victor Productions. That, actually, I think that's that. That was the reason why I even wanted to say that he wasn't in my list is because I know the Victor Productions. Carl's like his favorite character, and you know, again, Carl would be my number eleven. It's just I couldn't fit him on here. It's just it, I couldn't. It just I just couldn't. So um, you know, but again, that's just personal things. So anyway, let's get into this discussion topic with my number ten, and that is going to be Shane Walsh. So. I think the reason why he's on my list is because I was so impressed of how he turned out compared to the comic version. The comic version of Shane was just some jerk. In the TV show, man, was he ever awesome, you know? Um, you know, the only thing that I don't like about him is his own action figure he got. You know, that stupid Series 2 Shane action figure was uh, awful, but... You know, you got to admit, they showed more of his journey in the TV show, and it really made me realize how awesome he was in those first couple seasons. And he really was the main focus in the first couple seasons. You know, he really stood out. So I think for that, he has to be on this list. Um, coming in at number nine is going to be Rosita. So... This is a character that I go back and forth on, but I gotta admit, lately though, she has been really awesome, and I do like seeing her in the TV series. I think she's another character, just like Shane, that she's actually way better than her uh, TV, you know, her comic version, I'd say. So, she's another character I just feel like they fleshed out more in the TV show, gave her more of a part, more of a story, and I just really like seeing her. And she's one of the toughest females in the series as well. So, for that, I'm gonna have to put her at number nine. That is Rosita. Coming in at number 8 is going to be Abraham. So I wish, I really wish that he would have stuck around for All Out War. And I also wish that I'd be able to put him higher on the list. Because I really thought that he deserves a better place than number 8. However, uh, there's just some other characters I feel like I enjoy seeing more than Abraham. But I would have to say though, um, I wouldn't be surprised if he got shoved off the list in uh, some point in time in the next year or so. But... I mean, man, was he ever hilarious. Like, he wasn't just funny. He was hilarious, man. He is honestly, I liked him just as much as uh, Negan's jokes. You know, like, man, he was just amazing in the TV series. In the comics, I didn't really care about Abraham. But in the TV series, really enjoyed uh, Abraham Ford, um, played by Michael Cudlitz. Really awesome. Coming in at number seven is going to be Carol, another character. These four characters right here have just improved from their comic version. And she definitely, I wish, just like Abraham, I could put her higher on the list. But 
you know, I, I think number seven is a decent spot, uh, spot to put Carol. And Carol, man, especially when they arrived to Alexandria, that was like the fav, that was my favorite point in time, uh, to see Carol in the TV show. When, when, you know, end of season five, she was really cool. Um, Really love seeing her in All Out War 2. Just really willing to uh, do whatever it takes for this new beginning. Really just awesome. So can't wait to see what they have for uh, in store for her in the future. But got to love Carol, man. Number six is going to be my second favorite female character of The Walking Dead. And that is Maggie. Yes, I used to have Carol over Maggie. Uh, but I think I gotta switch that because... Maggie, especially recently, has just been more and more awesome. I love the banter between her and Gregory, too. That was just love it. Um, I love the part where they're outside the gates in episode 6 of season 8, and she's like, go inside now. <laughs> you know? Like, she, you know, man, she, she's acting like his parent or something. I just love it. Um, but she has just gotten better and better, and you can't deny that she is an awesome character. I like her way more in the comics. Another character, almost every character in the TV show is better than their comic version, except for Carl and Andrea. Those are the two I, I can't agree with. The Carl and Andrea, those are the only two I can't agree with. But really love seeing Maggie in the TV show. Lauren Cohan uh, does an amazing job. And uh, just really love seeing Maggie in the TV series. And love, uh, I, I can't wait to see what they have in store for her in the future. And, uh, you know, if there's more comic stuff that she's going to do in the TV series, how is that going to be in the TV show? Um, you know, can't wait to see it. So, my my favorite character that we lost in The Walking Dead would definitely have to be Glenn, and he's at number five. You gotta admit, a character that died and that's still at number five, that's pretty good, man. That is pretty good. Um... You know, and Glenn was just, they're trying to make Jesus the Glenn, but I just, he was the heart of the group. He was the one that had the biggest heart, I feel like. Um, you know, uh, and I just, I really enjoyed Glenn. I miss him so much in the TV show, more than I missed him in the comics, you know. Uh, in the TV show, Stephen Young just did a great job, uh, and I really miss seeing him in the TV show. But I like how the story evolved uh, after him, though. I like I like how it, uh, it, how it went after his death. Number four, my favorite ca female character of The Walking Dead is going to have to be Michonne. This one I'm not going to explain much. She's just amazing, you know? Um, I know a lot of people have her at number one. Me, it's number four just because I feel like the other three are just untouchable. But uh, Michonne is just a character that I feel like she's just... Ever since she appeared, you can't... It, you know, I never hear anybody says, Oh, I hate Michonne. She's just an awful character. Who would say that, man? She is just amazing. She's got the sword, her pet zombie. She's forming a relationship with Rick. Can't wait to see how she reacts to Carl, you know, and him dying. And just, oh, man, love Michonne. She just keeps getting better and better in the TV show, I feel like. Number three is going to be probably the most confusing one on the list for a lot of people. And that is going to be Negan. And Negan is just... Oh, man, I know a lot of people would be like, okay, Negan's a good character, but why is he at your number three? That's pretty high up on the list. I love JDM's Negan. A lot of people complain about Negan in the TV show. He is so awesome in the TV show, you know? I, I would say I like the comic more, the comic Negan more, but you can't deny that Jeff Dean Morgan is doing such a great job at playing Negan, man. I just love it, man. Uh, his one-liners, you know, I'd say even better than Abraham, and, you know... Uh, he's got Lucille, he's got all his men, and he's just a huge leader, you know, force of nature, just gotta love Negan in the TV show, man. And he's so nonchalant about everything, you know, that's, that's another thing I like about the way JDM kind of portrays Negan in the TV show. Number two is going to be Daryl Dixon. So Daryl is a character that I feel like a lot of people are going to be like, oh yeah, yeah, that makes sense. And yeah, you know, it does. And I, you know, sometimes I'm like, oh man. Uh, could I put him at number one? I'm like, no, I can't, you know, but he is just amazing. I know a lot of people complained about him this year, um, but you gotta admit, I mean, he's got the crossbow, he's a tough character. I would say he's even tougher, is he the toughest character in the show? 
Uh, yeah, I might say so, to be honest. He was really tough. He definitely doesn't have patience. <laughs> if you watch Daryl in the series, when they're ever doing something that takes some time, he's just like, oh, it's a waste of time. No, no, no we need to go. You know, like, you know, when they're at the kingdom and he's like, all right, everybody get out of the car. And he's like, all right, this is a waste of time. You know, <laughs> he just doesn't have patience. It's kind of funny. Um, love Daryl. Love Daryl on the TV show. Love uh, Ride with Norman Reedus and just Norm uh, Norman Reedus overall is doing a great job. And especially a character that's not in the comics and that's this important in the TV series and at number two, you, you gotta, you know, you know you're doing a good job playing a character if you're at this point, you know. Um, then at my number 10, uh, or number 10, number one, I'm gonna put Rick Grimes. Rick Grimes, man, I am, this is like my favorite character of television, Rick Grimes. You know, Rick Grimes is like my favorite character in TV. Just gotta love Rick Grimes, have so many action figures of him, it's insane at this point. So, there you go, guys. Uh, there's my list of The Walking Dead. Uh, you know, the Rick Grimes is definitely my favorite. You guys can write yours in the comments below, of course. Uh, and, uh, you know, stay tuned, guys, because there is a lot of videos coming in 2018.